I'm hot, it's no mystery. All these MCs look pissing me. Your breath's bad, you need Listerine. Crazy's angry like Mr. Me. You're late, you missed the scene. Your bars make me laugh like Mr. Bean. Right now, right here, I'll pick a team of a thousand bars, I'll strip a team. Reloads, reloads, eh? I've been getting reloads for all year. What you gonna say, crazy is unclear? Nah, no, Rube, where you're not near. All you can do is chat shit and swear you're pretty, so like a dyslexic brain. Cole Dobson, aka Crazy Titch. In 2005, the 22 year old was an exciting prospect in terms of the grime scene, along with people like Wiley, Dizzy Rascal, and Kano. They were influencing hundreds and thousands of young people across the UK. Their passionate lyrics voiced the life experiences of working class kids while shining light on our unrepresented communities. Within months of his career really taking off, Titch was charged with an M charge of a man called Richard in Chingford and he stood trial in 2006 and was convicted. The victim Richard was shot and killed at about 12.45am on the 4th of November 2005 outside of a community centre on the Chingford Hall estate in North East London. He was shot three times. There was expert evidence that one shot to the leg had been fired from a March 10 submachine gun and a two further shots, one to the arm and one fatal shot to the back which had passed through his heart, had been fired from a 45 revolver. There was also evidence of a third firearm having been at the scene. It was all alleged that this was caused by lyrics in a rap song. The two murderers in this case, or alleged murderers, and also the victim were involved in the music industry and it was simply a lyric that caused the initial dispute between the parties. It was being alleged that Crazy Titch killed the music producer Richard Holmes because the previous November there was a row over lyrics and it escalated and the old baby had heard that Dobson and his associate Anthony Green, 35, confronted Mr. Holmes, 21, because he had made a mistake of allying himself with an up and coming garage star known as Shabba Shack and they had released a diss track towards Crazy Titch's half-brother, The Wayne 25, also a rapper known as Dirty Goods. The lyrics was, over the years, things changed in the hood. I used to have a lot of respect for Dirty Goods. Over the years, shit's changed in the hood. I used to have a lot of respect for Dirty Goods. So allegedly, Crazy Titch was angry about that person dissing his half-brother and managed to find a producer who made the track, which was Richard. The craziest thing about this case, it was not alleged by the Crown at the trial that a fatal shot had been fired by any of the three defendants in this case. The shot was said to have been fired by a fourth man who was not on trial, but it was alleged that all three defendants were joint responsibly for the killing on the basis of joint enterprise. All three were alleged to have been part of the gun carrying group and to have known what was likely to happen. Dobson was said to have had the submachine gun and had fired a shot at the victim's leg. And the Crown's case was that Green and the others were present and participated through encouragement. In Dobson's interview, he did not deny presence at the scene. In a prepared statement, he said at the time of the alleged offence, he was not in possession of the firearm. His statement went on to say, I'd further like to confirm that I deny pointing a gun to the chest of Richard and shooting Richard. At the trial, he denied being present and relied on an alibi. Dobson and his co-defendant Green denied any involvement in this case, but a teenage rap fan who witnessed the shooting was able to identify Dobson aka Crazy Titch because he had been on television and both Dobson and Green were convicted of an M charge and received life sentences. And the third defendant was found not guilty of murder and manslaughter and was left from the dock in tears moments after the verdicts were read out. Now there is currently a petition trying to get 15,000 signatures for a retrial of this case for the reasons I'll get into. There's currently 14,495, literally only 505 to go. They say we believe that the conviction came about because of the combination of injustices. Firstly being in character assassination due to moral panic over a genre of urban music. Joint enterprise law which often convicts individuals for their crimes they haven't even committed disproportionately young black men. Anonymous witness testimonies which deny individuals the right to know who their accusers are. Police failings in the investigation and handling witnesses. The inherent unreliability of eyewitnesses evidence. The effect of institutional classism and racism within our court system. And failing in representations, the previous solicitor's firm representing Titch was shut down by the Law Society while preparing his defense. Everyone deserves a fair trial, some of the facts we know and are in court records. It was agreed at trial Titch had not fired the fatal shot. 
A supposed eyewitness failed to pick Titch out from an identification parade close to the date of the shooting. Six months later, the same witness attended another parade and picked him out after having admitted they had seen a photograph of Crazy Titch in the evening standard, naming him as a suspect. Another supposed eyewitness said to have been standing with his identifying eyewitness claimed to recognise Crazy Titch but was unable to pick him out of an identification parade very shortly after the shooting. Another supposed witness who did pick Titch out of the lineup admitted they had seen his photograph in newspapers or recognised him from music videos. His change page says we've been working with the criminal defense firms Commons for the past 18 months to take this case back and present new evidence to the Criminal Case Review Commission and we're seeking to overturn the conviction and we need your help. Alright, so I don't really... My name's Carl, like, aka Crazy Tish. I don't really talk about my case, but I feel like I'm going to have to because I don't know if people are taking the petition seriously. The petition is set up by my family. Do you understand? Like, it's not some do good on. But I do not feel comfortable talking that much about my case or even what happened, if that makes sense. For example, I had a, a rubbish solicitor. I think rubbish is a polite way to say, do you know, like that, because there was things I was asking that wasn't happening that could have easily proved my innocence or even disproved some lies that was being told in court. The worst thing about my solicitors, I would say, is that, that they had the, the audacity to lie to me and send me a letter saying that there was being closed down, I think a couple of weeks before my trial started, there was being closed down due to one of the partners becoming ill. So therefore, they was going to merge with another company. My family, who set out the petition, they went through my case papers and found that actually they were shut down by the law society. So, like, that's just like one thing. There's so much different things that are just wrong with my case. But I, I guess I was naive at the time. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. But something's got to give, you know, like that. I'm not a murderer. Yeah, I've done a lot of things in my life. I've just never killed no one. E even the trial judge said the killer's not in the courtroom. Yeah, I got a murderer sentence. Like, there's so much. There's witnesses that are just doing, like, mad things and getting two ID parades. Like, I've never heard of such a thing. You had the, the, the police giving my name to witnesses before they took their statements. If, if I show you someone's name and then I'm obviously telling you this is the person that I want, that seriously, I sat in court. Not a lot of people did, but everyone's got an opinion. I sat in court and watched three people go in the dock. Each one of them called someone else a liar, or someone else came in and called them a liar. So, look, I, I don't know, but sign the petition because I don't want to get into that. There's so much more I could tell you.